Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 41 of the Hardcore Let's Play series. Actually, right now what I'm doing, before we get any building going on, is uh, going over to the other side over here, right across this bridge. We need to make a brand new nether portal over here. We only have about six builds, and uh, it'd be a lot easier if we could just make a portal that would get us right over. It's been about five episodes since we built anything over here, and we haven't done a long play over here in a while, so uh, I was thinking, let's just get another portal right in the center, right next to our beet farm. We're not using the farm, but I'm glad that this guy's putting it to use. I think another portal probably just right about here will do. We'll end up just starting off with one right here, and then we'll end up making it better. I want to do some long plays where I make some really cool looking nether portals. And we've already dedicated an entire episode to building another portal, so I think some longer form episodes will probably do. Let's see where this guy takes us. I'd like to connect these nether portals. Okay, so, oh my god. And we, oh my god, we are right on top. Okay, so this is super convenient. I'm gonna take this down here. All I really have to do is kind of build a stairwell down, or we could maybe build this thing down just a little bit further. Okay, so this is super convenient. I'm just gonna get a couple of these guys out of the way. Ooh, some shroom lights. Clear this area up. We'll probably end up building a staircase, or we can just build a ladder that'll get down here right to the Strider Sanctuary. This is kind of cool. Buddy, why are you guys all huddled together shivering? You could, there's so many empty lava pools. You could just go into, the, there's one lava pool per Strider. You guys could all go in, enjoy yourselves, but you guys are all huddled together. Well, this is kind of great because we can jump up here and we can actually just go right back. It's not far at all. We've been actually spending a little bit more time in the nether recently on some streams because I wanted to connect a couple nether portals. We have an end room portal now, so we can quickly use this boat if we turn around and go this way and go zero. All the way down here will take you to the trail ruins. Okay, and a ghast was trying to shoot at me, but I went way too far, so we're gonna have to see the ghast again. Please don't shoot at me, dude. We'll go this way, and if we, up oh, there we go, we stopped, and actually I wanted to use some torch flowers in the nether because they have pretty much every color on them, and I just wanted the, the flower that would bring the most color to the nether. But if we hop over here, we have a nice short little hallway, and I'm glad that we put glass on the ceiling here because these hoglins are relentless. But this thing is great because we finally have a nether portal that takes us all the way over to our end room. If we hop out over here, it's still raining. It's always raining when I'm recording, but uh, yeah, and of course we can't sleep. But yeah, we have a brand new area where I'm trying to start building some docks over here. A uh, brand new nether portal, obviously in a long play. We have an end room right down here. I think this is going to be great. All we have to do is kind of build the dock out and build maybe a land bridge that goes all the way over. I think I just passed an allay somewhere, and he's right here. We have an allay. Oh my god. What are you doing all the way out here, dude? Why? Why are you out here? Now it's nighttime. I do have one lead on me. You know what? Let's sleep at the bottom of the ocean here, and let's save that allay. Oh my god, there's two allays here. Hold up. Hold. Okay, we have to sit. We'll save you right here. Come on. And we'll come up here, and please get back here. But I, I can't reach you in the water. Come here, please. By the way, guys, thank you for watching all the Twitch streams. It is twitch.tv slash waxfraud. We do stream every single day if you guys want to join. Home, sweet home. I'm glad we have some of the builds that are actually on this side of the world now instead of the forest. We actually have some stuff to look at when we approach from the water. So I have an idea. What we'll do is we'll get these allays kind of tied up over here to make it seem like they were helping out for this build. As if these guys were just the factory workers over here. And if you guys haven't seen episode 40, feel free to go check that out. And thank you if you did watch it. I do appreciate y'all. This is one of my most favorite builds that we've done since the new update. This was just, it was kind of like a free-form build. We have all this non-stripped wood that gets processed and eventually gets stripped through some sort of uh, wood cutting process with these stone cutters over here. You just gotta use your imagination. It'll pump itself on over here into our brand new hanging sign storage. And again, thank you guys so much for watching that episode if you did. But we will hop out, and actually, you know what, I kind of want to go say what's up to this guy. I was thinking, since this guy's going to be maybe a permanent part of our world, we should name him. So, uh, I want you guys to help me do that. Feel free to leave some comments down below. What do you guys think we should name this guy? Very relentless, he's very good at his job. He's going to run out of arrows, but uh, hey, what's what's a good name for this guy? Before I forget, I'm actually going to run to the auto storage, because what are all these cows doing? I, all these, there's so much cowage. All the cows decided to start moving back into the town. But I was actually going to go to the auto storage real fast because I ran out of stone that I was using for the nether highway. Let's hop down here. And I'm pretty sure we have a minecart. Perfect. Yeah, I haven't been to the auto storage in, actually, I think it's been a couple months, but uh, I haven't really had a reason to. Got a lot of arrows in my head and neck and arm, but uh, pretty soon that guy's going to run out and it will only be friendship from then on out. And we 
are here. That is perfect. I'm going to fill up a couple shulker boxes with all of the stone that I can. Two ideas here. First idea is I should probably finish this auto storage so they can put more items here. And second idea is I would like to make another portal that gets me here pretty quickly. Okay, this is, oh my god, and we are right next to where we need to be. Looks like our bridge is right there, but it looks like this is Hogland territory. Luckily, none are around us. Oh, we are right next to our Strider Sanctuary. This is absolutely amazing. So we got Striders right here, and we are chilling next to the nether portal. Came back to put the stone away, and I found this guy. Dude, why are you back here? You're, you're stuck forever. Why? Why do you get behind the Propagule? I see you trying to get out, and you're never going to be able to. But uh, for me, it is just one click of the Propagule and one click of the Clay Pot. Sir, just get out. Please don't do that again. Glad this guy took a job right away. Some villagers these days, man, they just do not want to work. Now, other than the stone, there's actually a couple other items that I wanted to get more of. And actually, you know what? Let's take a stop at the Camel Sanctuary real quick. I got the cactus with me. Let's do it. I want to make some baby camel. How about you eat some cactus? How about you eat some cactus? Cameraman over here, you sir, you can have a cactus, and you know what? You can have a cactus. Now that's a baby camel, oh, and he laid down immediately. Look at that smile on his face. Man, that's a baby camel if I've ever seen one. Did we get a baby camel over here yet, or is this, this guy's just, you can't, you have to get up, dude. You actually, you have to get up if you want to make a baby camel. Okay, of course, this guy gets up, and then this guy lays down. What's going on, guys? The chemistry is just not there. These guys, however, made a very happy baby camel. Look at this guy go. No, but really, there's a couple other items that I did want to add to the storage because we are running low, and that is the torch flowers and the pitcher plants. So let's actually go to the torch flower garden, grab a couple of these guys, and we are going to have to actually replace these, so let's go to the sniffer farm. Didn't need a rocket, forgot how close I was. Let's go down here, grab us a couple pitcher pods and torch flower seeds. Get these planted here, and we can actually run over here. I haven't actually dug any of these pitcher plants out yet, but... It's about time we can replace them. These are probably my favorite plants once they're planted and fully grown, because at the bottom, I mean, I've said it before, they look like onions, and at the top, they're very beautiful flowers. That being said, I will most definitely be replanting these, because you gotta have that onion, man. You gotta have the onions in this world. Now we got these little hazy eyeballs that'll turn into these onions that, whoa, hold on. I thought I heard something. There we go, buddy. My bad. But yeah, then eventually these are gonna turn into the beautiful pitcher plants, which we actually need to plant all around town. This entire city that we've got going on here the entire civilization is lacking the new torch flowers and the pitcher plants so we're gonna start getting those everywhere definitely need more pitcher plants in front of the house over here and in front of the gold board back on the beach actually speaking of the gold board let's go over here we have a bunch of them we've been doing the 1.20 goals for a couple episodes now so maybe let's go back to our roots and see what else originally needed to get done actually you know what top left first one with it we were thinking of maybe just goat sanctuary let's get that done goats i think are one of the coolest mobs in the game and we've been kind of neglecting them we haven't really been giving the goats much thought and they definitely don't deserve that so let's so let's finish planting these pitcher plants and uh, let's go get some goats. And if I remember correctly, if we fly out this way, I think there's a goat that I left in a boat. We are back and yep, there he is. There's the goat in the boat. And hey, I forgot actually, hold on. We have another goat right here. Ow, sir. Oh my God. He just, what dude? I did not desert. Hold on. You're going to get put in a, you're about to get put in a boat, sir. Hey man, I need you to leave me alone, please. Please leave me alone. And here's the thing, I actually don't have any boats, I do have leads on me though, so what we'll do is I'm gonna grab you over here, and you're gonna come with me, sir. Honestly, a boat would take forever anyway, so I'm glad that we're not doing it like that. Let's get you out of the boat, let's get you on the lead, we'll actually get two pieces of wheat here, because I think it's time to make a baby goat, and boom and boom. We got you, we got you, and we got baby goat over here, bam, get on the lead, you're coming home. And we are off, the four of us, let's go, let's try not to uh, fall into any powdered snow. Okay, buddy, you're making this hard. Come on now, let's go over here. Let's, uh, finally at the ocean. Let's, uh, see if we can cross safely. Just me swimming with three goats back here. You know what? Not too bad. We will be at home soon, guys. I promise we have a brand new land over here that we're gonna expand for you. And we are gonna have to build a brand new armory for the new armor trims, but this armor or trading hall, man, this is still standing tall. I'm gonna build something similar to it, but with probably some cherry wood or bamboo wood for the armor trims. The nether portal over here that we gotta make look nice and pretty. Actually, well, you know what I'm gonna do is put the goats right here for right now, and uh, we'll actually clean this area up because we gotta get a little build over here. 
we fly up actually and take a look at what land we're working with the island actually does not have much space left so i think we actually might go right next to the armory this trading hall could use a neighbor we might take out these trees right here and just go on this edge i'd still like to make room for an iron farm over here as well get another one of those going can never have too much iron honestly I turned around for one second, and I heard a hop, and this guy- how- well, why, first of all, and how? I like this goat right here, I like this guy a lot. You know what, actually, we need to name these goats, let's name two of them. Go ahead and throw out your best goat names in the comments down below. Got the materials that I want to use for this build. We're gonna hop back around on this side over here. I actually would like to use calcite, because I want to make this look like kind of a mountainy looking build. I don't have any snow blocks necessarily that I'd like to use for building, and calcite is kind of, uh, you know, the block that looks the closest. Spruce and oak are probably going to be the main wood types that we use. Probably going to take a little bit of a break from cherry. We've been using a lot of cherry wood. But we might use a little bit on the top section because you can find cherry groves near all the mountain biomes. So I feel like that would only make sense. But let's go ahead and just get everything color coordinated over here. I love the sound of placing calcite. I always forget how nice it sounds. And it insta mines too. It's just one of the good blocks, man. It's just one of the good ones. And you know what? The spruce and oak and calcite combo, I think it's been done. So the cherry wood, you know what? I think let's just give it a try. I know I said I wouldn't use it, but you know what? Who am I kidding? All right, goats, you guys just make another goat for me over here. And then, uh, yeah, this is starting to turn into definitely a Neapolitan type of build. We got vanilla, we got chocolate, we got strawberry up top. I think what we're going to do is build a chimney or a big tower right in the middle here. This guy's just following me, man. You know what? You can follow me as long as you want, man. You're a cute little goat. One thing we gotta finish down here is the decoration. We gotta get the trap doors up top just so it looks like a little bit more textured. And, of course, it's raining. Let's actually just move all of these goats outside here. Or inside, rather. Look, come on, guys. Let's go. Whoa, what's happening over here? Okay, there we go. Let's go this way. Come on, guys. Welcome to your humble abode. It's not much yet, but it will be something someday. You guys just chill right here for now. I'm going to block you guys in. With the bottom floor being calcite, the second floor being cherry wood, I think I want it to be a little bit of a different texture on the third floor or just what is above the spruce lining here. So I was thinking on our way up, actually, I did like how we use the composters as walls in the fox den. And so if we did it over here as well with the goat sanctuary, I feel like that only makes sense. We are going to do the roof up here, though. We're going to most likely start off with these campfires. I am kind of addicted to putting these on the roofs. For me right now, they just make everything look a lot more full. And then I think what we're going to end up using for the roof is the jungle stairs. Because I think they just, with a nice mixture, they, to me, they're like a mixture of oak and cherry at the same time. So with a little bit of the pink tint, I think it's going to look good with the cherry wood. I don't necessarily want to finish this yet until I know what it looks like from afar. We actually took out all the trees over here on this side too, so I could get a good look. And not bad, actually. I do love that. Composter on top, cherry wood in the middle, and calcite on the bottom. Now, I feel like we got to get the windows in on the cherry wood. I think maybe oak wood. Now, something we usually don't use are the birch trap doors. So I'm actually going to go over here and see what these end up looking like. And you know what? Not too bad at all. I actually really like these. And it wouldn't be a classic build without one of the classic wall to fence to chain to lantern action here. And of course, we put one in the wrong spot. I kind of wanted to put a trap door here, so maybe we could have some lifted out like that. As far as the middle goes here, I think what we'll do, maybe, I don't know, maybe that right there would be a little bit too small. We could go out one more. Honestly, only one way to find out. We're just gonna have to build this thing up and see where it takes us. Looks like this might be the right size for the tower. We get a five by five here, and I actually like this a lot. We take a step back in our open field over here. What do we got? Honestly, yeah, that's looking nice. We'll have to decorate around in there more. And actually, speaking of, I did bring some flowering azalea leaves because I didn't know, maybe some cherry leaves would look good in there now that I'm thinking about it. But if I wanted to add a little bit of green to the build, I could bring in some flowers right about here. That's actually not too bad at all. We can go on all the sides with that. Fly over here. We got the azalea bushes. We got the birch trap doors. This is starting to look magnificent. Also, as far as this room goes, maybe I should... I kind of want to build some stairs for the goats, but I feel like if I open it up, they'll just jump up here and jump out. So maybe I just need to finish the roof before we end up doing anything in here. Close this back up for just a second. Actually, just for a little bit of natural lighting in here, I do have the glow berries on me. Let's go ahead and just plant these in front of all of the windows bone meal all this up for a little bit of ceiling light action and actually you know what i'm thinking it's time for a new goat youtube back here in the corner let's make one two 
baby goats. Let's go. All right, so we got a baby goat right here. We got a baby goat right here. What's going on, baby goats? Something is giving me major deja vu right now. I don't know what it is about this build. Maybe just being in here with the goat. I don't know what's going on, but something's giving me deja vu. Ow, dude. Oh, God. Okay, I'll leave. I'll leave. I'm Okay, they don't want me in here. I'm gonna get out. I'm just gonna continue working on the roof because those guys do not want me inside right now. So I got this side here mostly done, but there's a couple things. I mean, obviously it's missing something on this row. I think the lectern is going to be the best option here. I haven't really used these as like any form of railing before, but I actually really do like the way that this looks. And there's actually a couple of spots that are missing detail here, and that is the birch button that's gonna come in for the saving of the day. Now, I think we are missing something. What we might want to do is put more trapdoors down. Can never have too many spruce trapdoors. And actually, what we'll do is go up here and place even more spruce trapdoors. Go every other. And then I think in between them, what we'll do is place some cherry saplings down. Actually, I think it's only right that we put a couple of ferns up here, too. And up top, I think a cherry sapling over there is only right. And if we go over here, I think me. Ooh, nope. I think a fern tucked right in there is only right. Gotta tuck those ferns, baby. The only thing that seems to be a little incomplete is actually just this little awning. So I think maybe, yeah, not going to be too bad. Actually, actually take that out. None of the wood types really match the color of this composter. So I think the campfire is going to be the move. Maybe a trap door right under it. Did the same thing actually all the way down here on the tower. I decided to try some new window awnings out. We got the campfire with the jungle trapdoor right below it and the spruce trapdoors on the side. This is actually a beachfront property right now because, uh, I mean, the grass is going up right to it. So we need to do a tad bit of landscaping. Let's actually just add quite a bit of grass over here. We could actually, now that I'm thinking about it, we could add a bunch of land all the way over here and make a little bit of a land bridge just to connect these two. A lot of potential builds over here as well. We could just do a regular bridge or just connecting it to make it one big island. That seems like a cool idea also. Decided to put a little bit of andesite mixed in with the stone bricks. I really do like that mixture. We got bing, we got bang, we got boom, bop, and that's a flag. While we're up here, I could show you. We got a window that I tucked in on the backside over here. I still need to actually get a bunch of trap doors right here because that looks really bare. But we got smaller windows on this side of the building. I have one matching over here. And if we fly up to the other side, we can see that we have three windows on this side as well. I have them even over here, but I didn't put a window on the left side in the middle because this tower has taken up all this space. It's like half the ghosts just jumped upstairs. I'm thinking maybe taking out most of this floor for the interior might be the move because I kind of want to give them more of a natural interior. We might build up some cool looking rock areas. Okay, so let's start taking out the ceiling here real quick, and we'll actually make a natural landscape using stone and a site and some stone bricks. Ow, dude, why? Why are you hitting me? Starting this natural staircase up to the second floor here, we're actually going to add in some gravel and some tuff over here as well. Got some rocky areas built up in the corners also, but uh, this stairway over here with the slabs, it's not too bad. I'm trying to make it as smooth as possible, so we're trying to add some more andesite up here. And I'm actually just going to keep taking away this wood. I think we're going to make this as natural as possible. Which means time to add more glow berries in front of all of the windows. Light them up, light them up, light them up. I feel like we could even get a cherry sapling to grow right here. Let's see. Oh my god, that was right away. And did that go outside of the house? Looks like it barely did. Let's Okay, let's take these out real fast. Goat, goat. No, 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 no. Goat, you got to get back in, please. Sir, you got to go this way. I will not allow you to leave. And I'm going to put that here. Put that in. Sir, you cannot go anywhere. Okay, let's see if we can get some other trees up in here. Thinking if we open this area over here up too, we could probably get another cherry tree up in here. Got some hay bales throughout here just so they can have some food. But in here, we have an entirely natural landscape now for all these goats. And buddy, what are you looking at? Why do you keep looking at me? Go down here, give them a little bit more food, and maybe right here. And going up to the tippy top, adding some amethyst clusters up here would be kind of nice. Fly over here, add a couple of these down on the ground. Adding some wood piles in here, because everyone knows that goats love the wood piles. Also, I don't know a single goat on the planet that doesn't like a fern in a pot. Taking a step outside, we're working on just a couple of things. We have this campfire set up that I forgot to finish, and I think there's a couple more cherry trees that I wanted to plant back here as well. Um, around the outside, it looks a little bit bare. Now that we planted all of the grass back here, we got to get some foliage. What does this tree look like? And not too bad, buddy. I haven't made any pathways back here yet. I think the iron farm is going to go back here, and we need to build up something to this brand new nether portal, which, by the way, we actually did connect up if we go in here. 
will pop out right at the center of our nether hub. This is perfect, but it's kind of strange because now that... Now, yep, exactly. We have this guy right here. Where are you coming from and where are you going? He's just the new nether fisherman. This is great, man. This is absolutely perfect. I also love this too because we can go all the way over here. and We have a brand new one that we had connected up. And this one right here takes us all the way to the incomplete auto storage system. So yeah, now we have more of an incentive to get this thing done. Hopping back out though, I'm actually really glad that we have this build on the corner of this island. It's about time that we get to working over here. Let's go land on our nice fresh patch of open land and look at this. It's been a while since I've built a sanctuary like this. Looks like a starter house, but it's mainly just for the goats. Got a little witch hat rooftop on the tip of the tower in the middle, and I'm really, really enjoying the pink in the middle of the calcite and the composters. Just wanted to come over here, say thank you guys one more time for watching. I do appreciate y'all for the support. Thank you guys for joining the Twitch streams. Thank you for becoming a Patreon member if you are, and thank you for becoming a YouTube member. Thank you guys just for all the support, man. It really does mean a lot. Take care of yourself, do something nice for somebody, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!